So I've just been into Iceland. As you know, I like Iceland. Buy a lot of stuff from there. They're spicy ranges. and um, I buy roughly the same thing from here or supermarket, whatever. And it came to £38. A few things for Mrs H as well and the cats. But that would have been 45 to 50 in a supermarket there. So they're still fair play holding their prices here. Um, just thought I'd share that information with you in this little vlog. So we'll go home now and um, probably carry on the vlog there. So see you in a minute. All right, just come in, it's Friday. Storm Eunice is about to hit. I think it's raining. It's it's not so windy yet. You have the odd gusts in there, but I've just been for some uh, uh, for my milk from the farm. I've been to the butcher. Um, little jobs done first thing. I think this storm's supposed to come in later now. It's going to get worse during the day apparently. Anyway. Um, so home now, all the jobs are done. Um, I gotta do some oh, I'll do some editing when I get back. Make a nice cup of tea. Um what else have we got? Oh I noticed uh, I'm gonna try some new sausages I haven't had from him before. He's got a tomato, garlic and pepper. Oh this you know, pork, tomato, garlic and pepper. Oh, so lovely. So I've got some of them. Big thick buggers as well. And a uh, little squirrel running across the wall there. And um, what else am I going to tell you? It goes out my, as soon as I switch this on, it goes out my head. Uh, yeah, so we got the meat, got the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the butcher. I notice he sells curry sauces on, the, on this shelf thing. Madras is the hottest I could see. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try one of them in one of my curries. So that'll be a future hot and spicy. Because I know, let's get going. I know what um, what I'm having this week is nothing that exciting because it's uh, it's got heat, Reaper. But um, well, what were you class as exciting? What I class as exciting might be two different things. But uh, anyway, let's get going. I'll see you in a bit. Stay safe. Put that kettle on. I'll just show you what I got from the butchers. This is a gammon steak, <clears throat> which is a um, pork which is dry cured or brined uh, like a big thick piece of bacon if you like I'm not sure what you call it um, is it Virginia ham or fresh ham or something but uh, look at the thickness of that thick as my finger beautiful nice piece of gammon these are the belly pork I'm telling you beautiful stuff can't be going to a butcher look skin on Nice pieces of belly pork there. This is the bacon. They vacuum pack things for you. Look how thick that is. Beautiful. Nice thick back bacon. That is short back bacon. That's coming out of that package and it goes in my bacon box. It keeps better in there. And here is the uh, tomato, garlic, and black pepper sausages. Look at them. Okay. Do you want me to fry a couple of them? <laughs> nice, aren't they? So, uh, quite thick sausages, them. Got half a dozen of them. So, that's that. I thought I'd show you what you can get from the butcher. Much better quality meat and much, much cheaper, really. Um, so, I'll leave you to it. All right, so we're back upstairs. Sorry, this isn't uh, this position. You must be sick of seeing me in this position. <laughs> But um, I've cooked those sausages um, there. And this here is a new flatbread I'm trying. Uh, Cathedral City cheesy flatbread made specifically for Iceland, I believe. And this is it. Some red onion on there. Mm. Oh, if you love cheese, 
especially Cathedral City, you love it. Mm. And I wanted to show you something as well. Beer. Cheers. Well, we survived the storm. Um, one of my neighbours, though, about three of his fence panels has tipped over. Just took the lot. Um, he's the sausages, so I feel sorry for him. Let's try it. Again, tomato, the sausage, pork sausage, mm. hint of garlic, very mild though, and a slight pepperiness, fantastic combo. What I've done is cooked three, have them now with this flatbread, that'll be my meal really. Um, the other three will go for my sandwiches for work tomorrow. Right. I'm going to show you what I bought. Uh, it's come from the States, but uh, I found a uh, a vendor, a seller in the UK of a few of this product. So what it is, if you've heard of Steve from Firebox, um, I've got one of his, I think it was the, the, the big stoves when they first come out, because Sandy Wilcherman, uh, I think he sent him a knife, he, he knows him somehow. And um, he got him to send me the full stove, everything. Beautiful. I haven't used it yet. I've had a few years now. Um, but good quality stuff is worth his... Have a look at his channel, Firebox Stoves. And um, this is what I bought. Frying pans. This here. This is their own frying pan. This is a uh, Firebox, see? Now, I looked into, I usually use stainless steel, I've got various pans, pots and pans that are hard ironed, that are hard ironized, uh, what's the word anyway, you know what I mean, uh, uh, hard ironized isn't it, yeah. um, and they do a pinnacle frying pan, but that's got a non-stick coating, which will eventually come off or burn off or something, so Steve, this is the 8 inch one, frying pan, hard anodized, that's it, and that's what this is, hard anodized, um, and you season it yourself, so it comes with this lifter, so what I've done, there's the, the holder, and there it is, I have seasoned it, it's had three coats of seasoning. It's got firebox on the bottom there, if you can see it. Uh, nice. Um, what I used was flaxseed oil. And what it says to do is get your oven to a temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, about 250, 260 uh, C. And you wash this and dry it first, you know, when you've bought it. And then you place it in the oven to heat up with the oven to the 500 or the 260 um, temperature. Once it's reached, you pull it out, let it cool down. Then you add an application, I used a paper towel, of flaxseed oil I used, um, coated, just thin coating, and then put it in the oven for 30 minutes in the heat, and it will smoke, so you better watch out for that if you do it. Then you pull it out the oven, let it cool down. Then you add another coat, 
put it back in for 30 minutes. Pull it out, let it cool down. And then uh, you add another coat and then you put it in for an hour. You can't, they recommend no more than six coats, but I've done three. Let it cool down, so that's the result. You can see a slight difference there, like it's been used. So the rest of the seasoning will be from me using it, like frying bacon or, you know, something with fat and grease in it. And then after you've finished, you wipe it. If you need to clean it, if it's stuck, you just put some water in, boil it up, use a wooden spatula, or I've got a plastic one there, tip it out and then sort of wipe it clean. And then um, you can either add another bit of oil to it, put it on the, on the stove of choice, just till it starts smoking, pull it off, wipe it again, and then leave it to cool down it's ready to go again then so it's seasoning as you use it so that's what that's what i've bought from the states the firebox hard anodized frying pan the eight inch version it's good enough for me but uh as i say if you check his channel out you'll see him using this very often he takes two goats with him camping and stuff like that fantastic Fishing, catches a fish, cooks it on the stove. So he uses his own gear, which is nice to see. Um, and I believe he's just launching, or it's starting a... Is it a Kickstarter starting in March for a new stove he's making? This is a success, lovely. So I might get some of this for a future... We'll have a curry or something like that. But these are lovely. It's tomato, as I say. You get the pork sausage taste. And then you get the slight hint of garlic. And then... Um, sort of pepperiness, yeah. Nothing... Lovely. Nothing strong. So that'll do us. <laughs> so I'll leave you in peace now. So hope you if you're in the UK or whatever, I hope you've been okay with this storm. I've seen some horrific uh, things on the news. Wow, lorry driving it was in Wales somewhere. Just tipped over on this. We've had about 60 mile an hour winds here, but I think on the coast, being around the 90, I think one place near Bristol was it, 122 mile an hour winds, took the roof off a house. Ooh. Anyway, um, but everybody I think survived because of the warnings, you know, the, uh, these things happen, don't they? They seem to be happening more often these days. But um, I think it's half the battle if you're expecting it and you can prepare for them. So, um, thanks for watching this, bit of a out and about vlog type thing. Uh, out and about home vlog. Um, I just fancied filming it, really, to be honest. But uh, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow now for the hot and spicy. Um, if you follow me on there. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. We'll be trying this pan out in about one, two, within two weeks. Because uh, i got some time then. As long as the storms are gone. And we'll uh, try a bit of bacon or something. We'll try fry it. Really. And see so how we get on. On one of our cooking adventures. So, um... Thanks very much for watching. Have a great weekend if I don't see you tomorrow. And um, stay safe out there. And stay happy. Cheers. <laughs>